This video is sponsored by Skillshare. More about that later. Hey, if you're a new rider, here's the thing. You need to be paying attention to this because we go over motorcycle crashes and close calls. And right here, we have four motorcycle riders having a terrible day. Now, we're going to talk about this panic-breaking moment in a group ride. I don't want you making this mistake yourself. And then we're also going to talk about another panic break in a group ride. There's quite a bit because it happens so much. It's so common. You're a new rider. I don't want you making that mistake. Follow me to class. Here we go. So here he is. Oh, a little scary. Ooh, a little scary. Now, why do you think that person would have done that? Let's go ahead and go back just a little bit. Yes, Moto Stars, we know it's you. So we're riding around here. Why do you think that person popped out right here? I don't know. The only thing I can think of is, let's get my handy dandy pen, is that this person started coming out. They got a little agitated. They adapted. You know, they're planning their ride. So that's my only guess. But for us, when we're getting next to vehicles, I mean, he's in a good spot. He's in lane position two. And he's avoiding this uh, hazard, so he's adapting, so he's doing fine. So uh, in this situation, there's not much you can do when it comes to your evasive maneuvers. I mean, if anything, you might be able to get to, like, right here. But if he sticks all the way out, you're kind of screwed. So it's just a pretty crappy situation. This is one of those things that you just <laughs> – it's motorcycling, everybody. It's just motorcycling. That's my only guess. So check your pantalones. I'm glad he didn't go back to hit the person. Let's go to this next part. It's the same rider. This is a good example of how dangerous group riding can be without proper concentration and well-organized bikers. Yep. Okay, concentration. You got to be very... Uh, you got to be in yellow stage when you're riding. And right now it's orange stage because you're looking. GSX S750. I have a... Empty 09. Oh. Don't collision. Oh, come on. I want to see... Th Why did you do that? You barely know what happens. Okay, here we go. Okay, so he's going to be just running into the back of him. So just because... Oh. Bruh. Okay, somebody somebody has to stop. Somebody has to stop at these, these lights, okay? Or not these lights, these intersections. So this person's stopping, and they're doing a check, so they're looking. Now, this is called opening up the view. So you stop where you should be stopping, but you can't see because of a line of sight issue. So you start to creep out some more, and you're still looking. You're creeping out, creeping out. The person behind, the one that's going to hit, this person right here that's going to hit this person, the thing is, they're not doing that. They just assume that they started going, so they're looking this way, and they just keep going. You only, you need to take your turn. You need to let the person get out of the way. Now it's your turn to go. You don't just assume you need to ride your own ride. So that's a lot what happens here. So this person right here is looking. Okay, and it's going to open up the view. We weren't paying attention. We just accelerated because we were hoping that person would have went. Okay, so ride your own ride. Don't just, don't just do it just because. Another one? Oh, what kind of group ride is this? Bruh. What do you think happened there, everybody? We need to be paying attention when we're in a group ride. Okay, so in a group ride, you definitely need to stay in yellow stage all the time. At least yellow stage all the time. You have to. Uh, when it comes to corners and intersections, you go into orange stage. But right here, what's going to happen is that he's pointing that we're all stopping and then the rider behind us falls down. Now, what do we know about traction loss? What do we know about braking? What do we know about cornering? What do we know about any of these things? What are the main reasons why... Excuse me, I had a burp. What are some of the main reasons why somebody just automatically just dumps the bike? They just dump it. Like, no one hit them. There was no turning involved. They're literally going in a straight line, and then they fall over. Why do you think that happens? It's, it's always a traction loss. It's probably because they panic broke, waited to last second. We're coming up. We're coming up to people. We're not paying attention. All of a sudden, somebody's right here. We're like, oh, crap, smash, dump the bike. I just want to talk real quick about the Smart Rider Principles, the T portion, the teaching and mentoring other riders. So if you're out there with your friend, how are you going to teach and mentor them? How are you going to get that information out to them? Well, this is something that's going to help you out. This is from Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people like you. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and start teaching other riders. So what I had to do was learn how to bring out the information that I had in almost a story fashion. That's really going to help you out. So what I did was I took a class called Powerful Storytelling Today, Strategies for Crafting Great Content. You're going to get very good insight on what it is you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to do it, 
and what's really going to connect with the audience or just that one rider. The cool thing is that it's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. And it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So what it is that you can do? Well, my first thousand subscribers that click the link that in the description, you're going to get a free trial of a premium membership so you can explore your creativity. We're moving through a group ride. We're having a little bit of fun, putting our feet down. Watch out. Oh, what happened there? I think we're moving around a little too much. That front tire lost traction somewhere. See that front of the face? That's why you have a full face helmet. That would have been his chin and jaw on the ground. Oh, he's going to the hospital though. Well, that escalated quickly. That escalated real quickly. See, this is what I, I don't want you guys having to deal with is that we're going to be riding around with a group of friends having a great time and nobody's thinking of anything that's serious. You know, we're just having a great time moving in and out of traffic, doing our thing, doing our thing. And through just sheer not paying attention, not really taking safety that seriously, a life altering or financially altering, you know, event happens. You dump the bike and you smash your face and you go to the hospital. Now in areas like this, you probably got socialized medicine. United States, that's a, that's a very expensive bill. So we're going to be going through here. He's having a little bit of fun. He's having a little fun. Maybe the guy in front of him dumped or not dumped, but the guy in front, let's go ahead and get the little pen out. Maybe he applied the brakes and this person right here didn't see that until last second. I mean, look how close they are. They're super duper close. So that's my theory that he dumped the bike because he slammed the brakes. So look how close he's getting to that person. And you can even see the brake light being applied right here. So the brake light's being applied. We're putting all these weird inputs into the bike. We're not stabilizing the bike itself. Uh, we're all too close right here. This is not good for total stopping distance or escape paths. This is definitely not a good planning uh, of your ride. So plan your ride, position yourself for safety, right? So you wouldn't be this close to a car. We're this close to our buddy on a motorcycle. It's not a good idea. So just in case something happens, like having to apply the brakes in the last second, we're not paying attention, we dump the bike, especially right before a corner because we're going too fast. Now, here's the thing when it comes to your smart rider principles. You need to acquire and utilize personal protective equipment. So he's going to dump the bike, and we're going to go down, and that's where your feet and knee and, and now our hands and elbow and Possibly shoulders are going to start hitting the ground. But look at his face. Boom. Right there. That right there is exactly why you get a full face helmet. Right here. Look at this. Smashing your face into the curb. I think there was a movie about that. It had, uh... Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> do not do that. Wear gear just in case something like this happens. But make sure you pay attention. Safety needs to be priority. All right, too close in this roundabout. Pay attention, pay attention. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, somebody hit. All right, so your main concern, there you go, good. Get yourself out of the roadway so you don't get hit yourself. Come on, All right, so I had a passenger. She got off his bike. Now they're looking at these people. Now he's guarding his right elbow. Okay, not too much information on that one. Let's go back just a little bit. So we're getting over here into this roundabout. We're just having a ton of fun. We're riding. Maybe it went a little wide, a little bit too, too far. And you see this person right here. At the beginning, they started turning left. Maybe this person wasn't following uh, the right way, and panic broke. So my guess is a panic break. But if you dump the bike, I mean, just take a look at where he's guarding. Okay, You can kind of see he's guarding on his arm and his shoulder. So that's right where the humerus is. It looks like it's a little further down than the AC joint, but he's, he's guarding that. So more than likely, he hit really, really hard uh, on the right side, which is kind of weird because he's turning left, right? So my guess is maybe a high side uh, or just a full body got hit. They probably bounced a little bit. But that's why you need to wear gear, too. I mean, look, he's not wearing, he's not wearing anything protective below the head. So that means the neck isn't protected. Obviously, the knees aren't protected. The whole arm isn't protected. It's not a good situation. You need to have full gear. So that's this is a good thing right here, moving off to the side so you don't get hit, so you can actually rescue another rider with your medical training. And too many people are, are too close. 
which is too close. You need to realize your total stopping distance is important, and you need to have escape paths. He's holding that arm. That means there's some damage to that arm. He's feeling pain there. Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time live. So make sure you check that out. But if you want to check out some other things like this video right here or this video right here, please do so. It supports the channel. Click that like button, by the way. Check into class. Anyways, I'll be seeing you around.